Even though it has been downgraded to a Category 3 storm, it's still just awful to see the path and yeah. not knowing what's going to happen next. And a Category 3 storm is still considered a major hurricane. And we're talking about winds that are 120 miles per hour gusting near 150 miles per hour over and over yeah. and over. We were talking about this storm sitting over the Bahamas, Grand Bahama, this time yesterday morning, and it's still sitting there. Yeah, it hasn't moved. moved a lot. Yeah. So they're now in their second day of, again, remember, 120 mile per hour winds. They were way worse yesterday at this time, a category five. So over 24 hours of this, if you can just try to imagine that, what they're going through right now with that eye wall where the strongest of the, the winds are sitting right over ahead of them, and you've got the storm surges, that increasing lifting water 10 to 15 feet in some places plus the rain. So they are right in the middle of it and it is actually absolutely terrifying. The good news here is you can see the eye wall starting to wobble a little bit. That is a sign that it's starting to weaken and it's going to hopefully continue to weaken as it makes its way to the north over the next two days. By Thursday, getting closer to the Carolinas, still though potentially, potentially at a category three storm and then near a one category storm as it makes its way up the Atlantic coast. We could see just the barely, 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 barely small impacts of the remnants of that by the weekend here. But so far, we're actually looking pretty dry. We'll see what happens with that. There's still a long way to go and still a lot of uncertainty. What's left for us after our own rain yesterday is just a few spot showers, but also the fog. It's very dense and very widespread this morning. Very low visibility for eastern Vermont. You've got it in western Vermont, Adirondack, Seaway Valley. Please watch out for that on your way out the door. 57 now in the Champlain Valley, 52 in Messina. Some clouds around kind of a gloom start. We will find at least a little bit more of that sunshine coming out through the afternoon hours and temperatures slightly warmer than they were yesterday. Near 67 or so by 1 o'clock, low 70s for our afternoon highs. There are a few of those clouds around here, but like I mentioned, drier and brighter through the afternoon hours, at least compared to yesterday especially. Tomorrow morning, some scattered showers, perhaps by the time you're headed out to work. Most of this holding off until probably after you're headed to work and through midday, you can see some of these scattered showers. Good news is that they're not widespread, but there's a the chance for those not only through the morning hours, but especially through midday and the afternoon and evening. And there could be some thunderstorms in the mix too. So watch out for those, just your typical run of the mill showers and storms, but you've got some sun in between, so that'll be nice. And then we have plenty of it on Thursday. That sun will come back out behind a cold front that's gonna prompt some of those storms tomorrow. But we're in great shape for the end of the work week. It's just gonna hold a little bit of a cool down. We're near 70 for Thursday and Friday, well below average, but. We keep that cooler weather over the weekend. I mentioned just a slight chance at a few showers late on Saturday, but most of us will be nice and dry.